Today's show is all about how to stop your body from sagging, shifting, and you do it this time. Do the shake. <laughs> and shaking is not always easy when the person shifting is your daughter. My 16-year-old daughter, Camila, just got her license and she drives way too fast. I actually do speed. I'm like literally holding on and then her comparison is, well, mom, you drive fast. You are guilty of driving fast yourself. She gets major attitude. It's like she's gritting her teeth and she'll, you know, put her hand up, you know, in my face. We clash has about everything. One big thing we fight about is I think she's too young to date. I've had a lot of boyfriends. Um, half of them I've hidden from my mom because she didn't want me dating them until I was 18. My mom has tracked me on her phone before. This is the app that I use to track my daughter and this shows her exact location. I wish my mom would trust me more. I want to know why my daughter can't see the possible consequences of her actions. We are joined by Kathy and her daughter, Cammie. Thank you both for being here. <laughs> so obviously, teenagers think very differently than we do as adults, because you as a teenager aren't thinking about consequences. What happens in the teenage brain is certain areas of the brain are not fully developed. And in fact, the areas of the brain that really drive a teenager are the areas that deal with dopamine and oxytocin. Dopamine, reward-seeking behavior. Willing to take risks for reward. Oxytocin, you know what? You don't want to be socially isolated. You want to be surrounded and liked by your friends. Those are two major driving forces. The frontal cortex is not fully developed either. That helps with decision-making capabilities. So unfortunately, kids tend to be around their peers. They take greater risks. They are willing, when friends are watching, you see all this extra activity, they are willing to do things that are more risky, and here's why. Interestingly, it goes back maybe to more primitive times. Social isolation could literally be deadly. Think about back in the caveman days. If you were socially isolated and you did not have your friends around you, you are at risk. And that's why kids desire to be in groups. They are driven by this need to be accepted by others. And of course, that can lead to dangerous behavior. Obviously, your brain cannot be fully developed at birth. You would not fit through the birth canal, right, Dr. Lisa? Yes, that's absolutely right. So the brain is developing throughout childhood. It takes to about the age of 25 for this frontal cortex to be completely developed. During that time, understand all these neurons are forming connections. They are allowing your teenager to begin to make better decisions. Sadly, while that's occurring, things like alcohol and drugs, you know what? They have a greater effect on the teenage brain. And sadly, if your teenager isn't making a lot of the right choices, you can actually see a drop in their IQ by the time they become adults. The net net of all this is that sometimes we need to help our teenagers make better decisions. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy, but teenagers do not see the consequences of yeah. their actions. All they see are, I want to impress my friends. Mm -hmm. Cami, mm -hmm. you drive faster than the speed limit. Yes, I do. Do you uh, drive even faster when friends are with you? Uh, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> um, if the speed limit is about 35, I go 60. <sighs> Cammie, you know, when you're driving down the, the street at 60, when it's really a 35 mm -hmm. mile an hour zone, are you thinking about what happens if a, a child runs out and you hit them and you paralyze that child? Mm -hmm. You don't think about that, do you? But you're, what your mom is thinking about is the, you know, the, the medical expenses for that child, the huge lawsuits that's going to happen. And, you know, mm -hmm. this is what's going on in, in, the, in the parent's mind. So she's trying to protect you and your whole family. And, and that's why, she, you know, she's wanting to know where you are. It doesn't matter if you're at the mall. I and mean, there's nothing wrong with being at the yeah. mall, but she just wants to know that you're there. You even said, I want my mom to trust me more. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. to, to, to do that, you need to be trustworthy. You need to be honest. And mom, you need to give just a little bit of freedom. I know she hasn't really earned it yet, but maybe start with just a short amount of time after school. Maybe it's a, it's a half an hour that she can do whatever she wants as long as, as it's not illegal. But, Kenna, <laughs> you need to be honest about what you're doing. And so... The takeaway here is that a lot of parents and teenagers struggle. I mean, that's just, we you're dealing do. with a mature brain and a brain that's still developing. And hopefully, Kathy and Cammie, you can, after the show, go home and talk <laughs> about this. Yeah. And acknowledge that mom, Cammie's brain works differently than yours. Mm -hmm. Cammie, your mom's brain works differently than yours, <laughs> yeah. okay? And that's just a fact of life. But thank you both so much. Thank you. Best of luck to both of you.